Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're looking at the Helljam Class 50 in O gauge. This one is the BR Blue model and the catalogue number is 4020. Uh, my local model shop, Chris's Craft and Model Railways, he um, he got these in for me. Um, Pre-ordered it with him when they were announced. So that was uh, good of him to get one in. Um, what can I say about this model? I haven't really got much O-gauge, so uh, I've got uh, this now. I've got a Western and a, and a Warship and an 08, so, uh, or an 03. But we'll, we'll, I'll do a video on all my O-gauge later on. I just wanted to do a, a video on this one as I need to modify it. Um, I've ordered a kit online. Um, here we are. That's the kit. Um, I got it off um, eBay, but I'm not sure if he, he's got a website. He does uh, etched names plates, so um, whether they're available, should be available on his website. There you are. So I'll, I'll write it down in the uh, description. But uh, yeah, I've, I've ordered these so I can uh, unrefurbish or de-refurbish this one and then it's going to be numbered 402 um, as that's uh, the Devon Diesel Society loco, the one I'm involved with. So um, yeah, that's the plan. But before I did any work, I just wanted to do a quick video on the bits and pieces before I start and what needs to come come off if, if you fancy doing one yourself. So let's have a look at some of the details. It's got a lovely interior into the cab. I'm not sure whether it will pick up on the camera or not. Probably not. There you go. Do you see the handles there? You can see the uh, handbrake handle. There's other bits and pieces in there. It's um, it's all prototypical from the one we've got, uh, 402. The um, originally they were the the wipers and the the spindles and all that. They were like a white chrome to them, so that they need uh, painting. You can see the water nozzle there, these bits here, those bits there, that's a, a washer jet that would have squirted water onto the window. There's some handles obviously. All the pipes come fitted, it's got the screw link coupling. In the, uh, in the detailing pack you get a spare one of these, because uh, you have to remove this to take the body off and they can break. So there is um, spare ones in the pack. Let's move it down the side. You've got your data panel there. And the fan, that does spin. Um, I'm gonna be putting a decoder in here later. So um, that'll work off a, off a function then. These are nice, these brake chains. Very nice touch to them. Oh, there's a warning label there. Yeah, in real life, these uh, shutters would have opened and closed automatically, depending on how hot the engine was, and whether the fan was running. You can press this down there. Your fuel tanks, your battery boxes, there's a isolation switch there. More roof in detail. Again you've got another chain there. Um, it's focusing better this end. 
bit better in it. You can see where the gauges are and the, and the lights above the panel there. The brake handle, the reverser. Yeah. So, very nice model. I've had him running up and down a little bit on analog. Like I said, I'm going to put a decoder in it later. A sound, sound decoder. Not quite sure which sound project to go for yet. Right, so let's have a look to see what I need to do to convert this back to a unrefurbished 50. So with that kit of parts, you get a three page instruction manual on what to do and how he's done it. So I won't go for all of it because uh, that would be not fair on him as he's trying to that's his business selling bits and pieces and I don't want you copying it <laughs> off of me for free but uh, yeah these are some etchings that need to go on so the bottom ones that's uh, sand sand boxes you've got uh, the covers there for the leads so you can take these off and then cover the holes with them um, I believe there was two or three that came out of refurbishment with the head um, lamp, the centre lamp there, plated over. So that's what those round plates are for. And then the washer looking things, that is for a, uh, if you want a model um, 44 Exeter with its high intensity headlamp, that'll go around one of the brake lights. Um, so that's for the head code, so that I'll replace that box there, so I'll have to cut that out, let's take that in place with some numbers behind it, and then we've been known to call this the, uh, the bread bin assembly, and that sits in there, so I've got to cut that, to, uh, come on focusing, in there, I'll cut that plate out. And that'll sit in there when it's all folded up. So originally they had um, another set of fans in there. That's what gave it the Hoover nickname. Um, those are window surrounds. Which go here. I need to cut that out and put uh, another window in. And then that circle there. That blanks off this piece here. This vent. Come on, focus. That vent there. It's going to focus now. Yeah, that there's going to come off. And that plates that over. So, as I'm modelling 402, as it came onto the Western region in the early 70s, um, the jumper cables were fitted, but the uh, it had no sensor headlamp, so I've got to fill that in. It would have had a head code box with the uh, head code numbers in it so i need to do that i need to put the windows in both sides there and there take that vent off and fit the bread bin i believe that's it i'm sure someone will tell me more if i've got it wrong or oh, obviously the uh sandboxes in the sides so i need to drill holes fire them square and then uh, glue those in yes so that's the plan so i just wanted to do a little video maybe a series on it see how far i get and how well i do it and if you fancy having a go yourself i'll um i'll leave the information to his website so you can get the conversion kit yourself because i know hell jam of uh just issued a statement saying they're going to produce another batch a third batch of these so if you've missed out this time you can uh, order up from the third batch but I don't think they're doing BR blue ones so uh, you probably have to respray it but um, this one I need spraying up again after I do all the work to it so I still haven't missed anything 
is the detailing pack that it come with. Snow plows, some steps. Um, there's the spare leads that can break off when doing the body, taking the body off. So yeah, that's the detail pack. Um, I'll get it running up and down the track for a little bit. I've only got a short, um, was it eight foot long, seven foot long bit of track. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you all next time. Cheers.